are you really in, in exchange for Mark's job? I'm confused. I am. Have you ever wondered what the life of a billionaire is like? Yes, billionaire with a B. Well, in today's video, I'm not only going to show you what life is like for them, but I'm going to live it for myself. Today, I'm switching lives with a billionaire. There are only around 2,000 billionaires on the planet. So my first mission is to identify one and try to track them down. So one of these lucky contenders is gonna get to switch lives with moi. Seda, who the heck is this? Kylie Jenner owns a cosmetic company. You probably saw her grow up in Keeping Up with the Kardashians and she's a mother. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of Keeping Up with the Kardashians. All right, Seda, what do we got on Bill? Our guy Bill is the founder of Microsoft. He was one of the first billionaires ever and has a great smile. Does seem like a brilliant guy. Does have a great smile, but you know, I'm more of an Apple guy. Seda, what do we got on Sir Richard Branson? Currently owns more than 400 companies, including a cruise ship, airline, radio station, and a bank. And he recently went to space. I did always say that I wanted to be the first travel vlogger in space. This could be our guy, Seda. We're like, Let's call a uh, Virgin do you think, Atlantic. Yeah, could you just call him? You never know unless you try. Hello! Yeah, I was wondering if I could talk to Sir Richard Branson? Hello? What do we got on this guy, Seda? Mark Lore started Jet.com and sold it for $4 billion to Walmart, recently bought the Timberwolves with A-Rod, and currently he's building a city of the future called Tolosa. Where does he live? Well, he kind of lives a few blocks away. I think this, this is our guy. So now we need to figure out a way to convince Mark to take time out of his busy day and switch lives with me. So we're gonna first DM him and see if he gets back to us. Do you want to switch lives with me and have the best day of your life? This guy probably flies on private jets to like his private islands. And <laughs> then the following day, we got a response back. I talked to my publicist, Jen, give her an email. Looking forward, he said yes. I am changing lives with a billionaire for a day. Woo! Now, before we do get into this insane day, I did just want to give a quick 30 second shout out to Storyblocks. Since Storyblocks helps make videos like this possible, not only by sponsoring it, but also since with a Storyblocks membership, I have access to a colossal amount of stock footage. It is also royalty free, so I can use it on my YouTube vids and monetize without any issues and as much as I want. So if I need a shot of a nice car I don't have, New York City, or even a cat, Storyblocks has my back. They offer affordable subscriptions with unlimited downloads that always help make my videos better. To learn more, head to storyblocks.com slash Conti by clicking the link below. Okay, now back to me becoming a billionaire. So this is definitely the most excited I have ever been for a video. In about 10 minutes, I am going to be a billionaire. Gabe over here is going to be picking up Mark, bringing him back to the office and showing him what a day in the life as Brett is like. Mark is in my hand, so I hope he likes me. Can't not like Gabe. <laughs> and then we have Sam over here, who is going to be joining me at Mark's apartment, or should I say, my new apartment. I also didn't know what billionaires wear, so got my lucky sports blazer. It's outer space on the inside. No, it's gonna be a good day. Mark, what's going hey, on? Hey, I'm Brett, Good nice to, to meet you. Yeah. Thank you so much for taking the time to do this crazy idea. You probably heard I like crazy. I was gonna say, I, I know love what, crazy, actually. I know what you've done, so I feel like this is not even the craziest thing you've heard. So I'm glad that you said yes, and thank you for switching lives with me for the day. <laughs> this is Gabe, hey, he's Gabe. my right hand man, so he's gonna be taking you back to the studio and kind of showing you what a day in my life is like. Okay, great. Are you ready to be a YouTuber for the day? Let's do it. I'm gonna take you away and All right. go make some videos. Let's do it. Oh, right. This is my place right, now. Mark, All right. have fun in, in my life. 
Jump right in and show you outside. Right now we're gonna live it up. Don't stop till you get it up. Feel it, work it, move it. This is how we do it. Three floors. This is mine for the day. <laughs> Unless he likes my life so much and he like wants to permanently switch. Mark, let's make a deal here. All right, Mark, so we, I think, have the slowest elevator in all of New York City. It takes 45 seconds to get to the top floor. Give me your elevator pitch on Tolosa. Tolosa is a project I'm working on. It is a new city, um, likely in the desert. A city of five million people building from scratch. Uh, the mission is to create a more equitable and sustainable future. Full stop. We're only on the third floor right now, so that's how slow our elevator is. I'm sold. Okay. I'm sold. <laughs> now, if you want to make a billion bucks, you got to feel like a billion bucks. So right now we're in Mark's home theater where we are going to be doing an intense workout with Mark's personal trainer, Mo. My man, Mo, how you doing? I am so excited to push myself during this workout. Hello, I've been waiting for you. Friends and show me something new. Hey, yeah, it's a hell of a time. How was that? <sighs> Great. I feel like a billion bucks. All right, Mark. All right, here it is. Welcome to our office. Oh my God. Nice to meet Seta? you. Yes, yeah, Seta. Okay. This, so is, this is uh, Brett's place. This is yeah. Brett's place. This is uh, this where is we the create the YouTube magic. What exactly do they do? So on a typical day, you know, we come in. We plan our uh, videos, and so I figured what better way to start our day than to plan a YouTube video. Oh, I'm scared, scared now. <laughs> I think we should have a meeting. Yeah, <laughs> All right. we need to brainstorm yeah, a video. What kind of video? That's the thing. If you were to start a business tomorrow, just off of like a, a spur of the moment idea, what would it be? So you like these businesses that are more like you can like kind of like do them. Yeah. Like right now, go out and do it. Right? Yeah. What about? You know what's an interesting thing? What about business? a mobile restaurant? Like a food truck? You can call it a food truck. I'm calling it a mobile restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> so right now, Mark has a call with the founder of Dope. Her name's Kelsey, and Mark's mentored her and helped her with starting her business. Hello. Hi, Kelsey. How you doing? Nice to meet you. I'm Mark for the day. My name's Brett. <laughs> Hello, Mark for the day. <laughs> I've never tried it before. All right, let's give this a bite. Mmm. Wow. Where can the people buy it? So dope.com, yeah, we ship nationwide and dope.com. Uh, thanks to you, Mark. We got a nice introduction to some folks at Walmart and we're launching in Walmart in November. So. No way. Kelsey, thank you so much for your time and thank you for the cookie dough. So excited to to eat more of this and can't thank you enough and best of luck with your business and congrats on getting into Walmart. Thank you so much. Awesome. Have a dope day. <laughs> Thank you, Kelsey. Bye-bye. Well, seems like I'm a pretty nice guy. Yeah. Just helping out all these fellow entrepreneurs. And all my payment is free cookie dough. Not a bad deal. You know, typically when when we're we're coming up with brainstorms, we, we don't just sit on the couch, actually. We need to do something fun. Mm -hmm. All right, so the thing, Mark, about me and ping pong in this office, I've never won a game. It's good for me. It's good for you. I'm good, but I just haven't won. One up. It's good news, I got to Oh, oh short table. <laughs> so Mark is building a new city. You might have heard about it. It's called Tolosa. Part of what inspired this new city concept and this new economic model that we're calling Equitism is this book by a 19th century economist. I thought you should give it a brief skim um, just to learn a little bit about Tolosa. Gonna yeah. spread the word all over the world. I guess uh, I'm working on building a city today. I want to give no idea how he's going to do this, but I do not doubt Mark at all. From what I've learned about him and doing my research, I feel like this guy can do anything. For sure. <laughs> oh! ding, ding, ding. <laughs> Still all defeated in my own studio. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha
<laughs> so Mark recently purchased the NBA team, the Timberwolves. So today, my job is to recruit some Timberwolves fans. We got some merch here, and we're gonna give it out to some people here playing some basketball. I don't know if I should go up to him and be like, hey dude, like, I'm the owner of the Timberwolves. I'm part of the uh, Timberwolves. You want like a shirt, some socks, a hat? Free. Sure, free. Yeah, yeah, man. Take the socks, man. Yo, the bunk, socks. Thank you so much. Oh, that's so sorry. Yeah, I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Take that as well. Nah, you gotta f with the T Wolves. <laughs> <laughs> gotta f with the T Wolves. <laughs> we had a little fun, we brainstormed. Now we gotta get into it. We have to film a video. We get the light here, right? Yep. Man, that looks great. Awesome, and then you're gonna take a seat in that chair. So, uh, Mark, what do you think of your new, your new desk? Uh, nicer than what I have. Brett's gonna have a hard time if he likes desks. <laughs> <'Cause> he's <laughs> not gonna find one. <laughs> or a computer. You don't have a computer? No computer, no desk. All I have is one of those tripod things that stick my phone in and it's zoom standing. Incredible. All right, guys, not gonna lie, I'm a little nervous. I am a huge Yankees fan, and right now, we are about to FaceTime with A-Rod. High drive, center field, deep, going back Wells, looking up, see ya! There it is, number 600, Alex Rodriguez. To add some more pressure to this, A-Rod has no idea that he's going to be FaceTiming me. So here we go, we're about to FaceTime one of the greatest Yankees ever. Alex, what's up, man? My name's Brett. I am changing lives with Mark for the day. I was wondering if I could ask you what it's like having Mark, me, as a business partner. What, what's your name again? Brett. Brett. I don't know if I can talk to you. Are you really in, in exchange for Mark's job? I'm confused. I am. So I, I am your business Alex, partner. Alex, you can talk to him. Mark wants you to talk to him. Oh, okay. <laughs> he wanted me to handle it myself. I was like, I'll talk to A-Rod, no All right, problem. What's up, Brett? Let's talk. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, what is it like having Mark as a business partner? Oh man, it's a dream. We have like opposite set of skills. Like what he's really, really, really good at, he's like the best in the world at, um, which is tech, e-commerce, analytics. You know, obviously I know you are. I'm from New York. I'm a huge Yankees fan. And do you think that baseball plays a huge role into, you know, why you got into entrepreneurship and starting businesses. Do you think like that competitiveness is like what made you always want to, to get ahead in business? You know, my father had a shoe store back when we were uh, three, four years old uh, in our place in Washington Heights. And that's when I started thinking about entrepreneurship, that you can actually have people come to your house, buy shoes from your father, and, and there's a transaction. And I thought that was pretty cool. Awesome, Alex. Well, thank you so much for getting on the phone. I know you had no choice and I had no idea, but so great to talk to you and I look forward to everything that you and Mark do in the future. All right. Well, nice to meet you. All right. You, you as well. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> that was amazing. Yeah, you can type in Brett Conti. So this is the guy. 55,000 subscribers? Yeah. That's not bad. No, that's great. That's not bad. This is the guy who's taking over your life today, managing the Timberwolves, calling with A-Rod. <laughs> He's doing everything. So are you ready to make a video? Let's, let's do it. All right, we'll have you turn around. This is how we do it. So you can see yourself there. I do. How do you look? Acceptable. <laughs> we're gonna hit record, we're gonna get you in the center there. And boom, you're ready to go. All right, hey everyone. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Mark Lurie. And I'm switching lives for a day with uh, Brett Conti. What are you gonna What are you gonna do today? I gotta come up with something. How about my video is whipping your ass in ping pong? <laughs> <laughs> All right, skateboarding. Let's do skateboarding. Uh, if you didn't know, Brett actually owns a skateboard company. Um, so he's an entrepreneur too. Got it. That's all the skateboards all, there. All those skateboards, all these shirts. You know, I figured we'll grab a fortune skateboard and Let's head outside it. and yeah. make some content. Right. Here's your wheels. Oh, nice. Look at this. <laughs> Matches the sneaker. Yeah. It really does. So have you ever ridden a skateboard before in your life? As a kid, yeah. As a kid? How many years ago is that? Like 10? 45? Six so young. I'm just trying to remember, how do you actually stop? It's like put it down, give it a little push.
gotta stick to the course. Y'all miss is closing in and they apply to Dude, I think it's better than I did. When the vision is lost by any and all means, no matter the cost. They waiting for me to forfeit too bad. We don't know the definition of cautious. Alright, so now we're back at the office. We're gonna check in on the gang and see how they liked working with Mark for the day. What's up guys? Hey! hey. Mark! Hey. How was your day? My day was oh, man. amazing. How was it being me for the day and being a YouTuber? Oh, it was incredible. I, if I would have known this, I would have become a YouTuber a long time ago. <laughs> I haven't seen one of those, a computer, desk. I didn't have you, to use did a, computer a computer all day. <laughs> did you find a computer or a desk? No computer, <laughs> no desk. It was just straight chilling on the nice couches. <laughs> so how was it uh, working with the team? Oh, they were amazing. They were amazing. I, I've hired both of them. You <laughs> 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 hey, more than I can. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Oh, oh yeah, we got I'm sorry. Mark wow. recruited us. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Even though I'm a little jealous, we can leave this up for good. <laughs> After spending the day as and with Mark, I learned that he's a totally normal guy. He's probably one of the coolest, most badass people I've ever met, as well as a pretty impressive mentalist. Six. <laughs> Oh. Guys, I swear on my YouTube channel, I have no idea how we did that. Is this how you made all your money or just like my <laughs> bank account? <laughs> but before we do depart from Mark's penthouse, there were still a couple of questions I wanted to ask him. All right, Mark. My first question for you is, when you were a little kid, even into when you were you know, a teenager, did you ever think that you would be at this level of success and grow your career to such this stature? How old? Like, yeah, when you were a little kid. Of course. <laughs> you're honest with that. <laughs> Even though we had nothing and I knew nothing. And yeah, I mean, as soon as I realized and it was pretty quick, I wasn't going to be a professional athlete. So I said, okay, but mm -hmm. I could still own a team one day. And you here know, you are. That's, that's the boyhood American dream, right? Yeah. Like, people say, like, you know, what do you think it was led you here? And I think it's hard work for sure. There's no question. But it's also the combination of hard work, taking risk, and being okay f to fail. Putting yourself in a position where you can't fail. Mm -hmm. That's what I did. I just like, yeah. like, why did you like make it? Because I couldn't afford to fail. Like basically, you know. I sourced some questions from my audience who wanted to ask you some questions. Okay. So, Nalan ninety two says, "How do you stay focused and motivated?" It's just having a, a purpose, mm -hmm. living by a set of values and having a purpose. Whatever you do, whether it be the city, whose mission is to you create a more equitable and sustainable future. Like, you know, that drives me in that, or or the Timberwolves are working through emission values now. It's not like it, it can't you can't be driven by dollars and cents. That gets old quickly. Mm -hmm. Which even leads me into the next question, which <laughs> is Cody Ryan says, How do you want to be remembered and what are you currently doing towards that? And I'd love for you to talk about Telosa. People think, oh, it's a this is a real estate project. Like you just want to build a city and have autonomous vehicles and flying cars and things and, and sort of it's just like a fun fun project it's not it's much more than that oh i feel like, like even as from the outside i don't yeah. see that i feel like all right there's a this billionaire who wants to do something great for our planet which is amazing that you're trying to push mankind and take amazing things from every city i mean that's definitely part of it but that's like half of it or not even half of it the the, the primary reason for being is to test a new model for society like the whole reason why i got interested in this wasn't that i said oh i want to build a city it was why, despite all the material progress that we're seeing in America, is there still so many people just barely getting by? And why is this country so divided more than ever? So I'll ask one more question. Oh, this is a good one. By Yara, she says, what is one thing you hate about being a billionaire? I'm pretty happy. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty good. Yeah. I know, not, not really. Valid answer, um, okay. I think one of the things, there's a temptation to complicate life, which definitely degrades happiness mm -hmm. like what, what I mean even like buying more stuff having a second home a third home a fourth home like people do that you know I have I have one home and it's like really important to keep life sort of simple mm -hmm. less things nice things but less things right so that you can spend time and really enjoy life mm -hmm. you, you have time to think you have time to you know experiment and that's where I most of the enjoyment and happiness comes from the other thing that's really interesting is like 
the more money you make, the more valuable an hour is. And so it's really interesting. Things that maybe made sense uh, in the past don't make sense now to do, meaning business activities or certain things that you would do at some point. Right. Know, so like this, because I probably owe you a decent amount of money for, you know, Oh yeah, this, this is a very expensive. <laughs> I'll, I'll cut the very check. Very expensive. Don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I feel like that's even a perfect way to end it. Like Mark, yeah. thank All you right. so much. This video was months in the works and a bucket list item of mine. If you guys did enjoy it and could please hit that subscribe button, it would truly mean a lot to me. Until next week, let's get out and get busy in the next one.